Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. Today, we will be showing off the Surface Rough Parallel 3D toolpath. So, let's get started. So, here's our part it has this big angle in it, and it's really steep and it's deep. It's about three inches deep. So far, we've faced the part and dynamic milled. All, almost everything except the angle out. So when you go to parallel, and we need to click that surface we want to machine. So we'll click that surface. Click the check. Now we'll select our tool, reinitialize speeds and feeds. We'll check out our tool. It's about five inches long. It's undercut and it can only take out about 500 thou and has a 20 thou radius on it so it can surface. So we go and we leave 30 thou on the face. Max step over will go about half the diameter of the tool. Max step down 100 thou. So radial cut quarter inch, depth cut 100 thou. Tangential line extension will go 200 thou so it goes past the surface and we'll go to back plot and what it's doing is not really what we want it to do we want it to start machining at different direction so go back into parameters machining angle we'll type in 90 degrees click the check regen and that looks a lot more like what we want so we'll go to the right view go to back plot and click play and this is a really fast way to rough out steep angles. So we're using a long end mill and we're leaving 30 thou on the face and we're just roughing it out. So this is a lot faster opposed to using something like flow line which would engage the full three and a half inches of depth we have here. And to use flow line instead of rough parallel, you would need a tool with three and a half inches of flute, which is kind of hard to come by and it would chatter. So this is, this is the best way to do it. So we're going to verify and we're going to check out what's going on. So we're going to crank it up to fast and we'll click play. Now this takes about one minute to get through all the dynamic milling so go ahead and skip one minute in time if you don't want to watch. If you do want to watch go ahead and enjoy it and uh, we'll pick up here in a minute. Okay, so we're going to slow it down here. We're getting close to where it starts our 3D toolpath. Okay, and here we go. So, as you can see, here's our toolpath. It's moving along the angle, which is good. 
and it's leaving 30 thou. Now the things to keep in mind when using surface rough parallel are your depth cuts, your step over, so your radial cuts, your angle of machining, so if you want to go along with it or like we showed before going perpendicular to it or you can type in 45 degrees and go at an angle, whatever works best for your surface. And uh, those, are, those are the main things you need to keep in mind. So that's what it looks like when you rough out the angle plus 30 thou. Now we left 30 thou because we want to, in our next video, show how to use a flow line and finish it. So this is a two-part video. Check out our next video if you want to see how to finish this angle and subscribe. Uh, we'll see you later. Thanks.